Yeah. Oh, Can't you blame me? I'm going through the hard time, this shit done changed me. Don't get it twisted, y'all nigga, I'm still the same me. Dropped on yeah. my knees and prayed to God because he saved me. Oh, how could you blame me? Yes, sir. We back, we back, we back. Hi, how the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we back for part two of the Can You Blame Me Pod Squad. Pod Squad All-Stars episode, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, y'all remember that song? Welcome, Welcome back. back yeah. To the same old place that you laugh about. Oh, the names of all <laughs> Why well, everybody start looking at Nah, the one, <laughs> damn, right, not the one I know is like, no, right it's another welcome, it's a rap song called Welcome Back. That one I'll tell That's you. That's what they sampled it from. Oh, okay, damn. Yeah. History mm-hmm. lesson, y'all. Amazing. Y'all know y'all, yeah, yeah. that's what I was talking about. It's an old sample from Welcome Back Cop. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know y'all, see, show y'all back stay woke. Damn right. <laughs> no, yeah, I got, a, I got a playlist with like songs that were sampled and then the yeah, original one right. and like just listening to it like a lot of my favorite artists like I'd be listening to some of the ones that J. Cole sampled and going yeah. back and hearing Lauryn Hill I'm right. like oh yeah. okay yeah. and like just, <laughs> just finding yeah. some of the samples I'm like yo I, I like where y'all going with that and yeah. it's, it's nice bro, let me yeah. tell you about this man QB bro this is an old ass man bro <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting in the car with him last night when he picked me up from the airport bro this man gonna say what's up King you bad, bro I'm straight bro bro are you done being an old man yet <laughs> bro. Nah, bro. Chilling, bro. He got an old soul. Bro, this, he do though. He got an old body, an old soul. Nigga always complaining about his knee. Bro, my knee. Good gracious. <laughs> Come on, bro. We the same age. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad. You mind. I fuck with you. Hey, listen, man. I've been taking midday right, naps since I was like 21. Bro. Yes, I be telling people it don't matter what yeah, happened. Yeah. I'm gonna take me a take nap. A goddamn oh nap. my hell! Yeah. Hey, you know Shout what? out to the nappers out though. I started and learning. I, oh, what? Look, I can, I can, I can, I can attest to that. And I can testify to it, bro. Like I say, you and I work together. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll be on the phone, bro, talking about stuff, and we work like in the same department. We building some stuff together. He'll say, "All right." It's nap time, bro. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to take really? my hour or two, and I'm going to go ahead. Bro, but you know what? The great minds do that, bro. Hell, Google had a policy for years where they had, like, a literal place under people's desk at their job to where you what? just had a nap time. What? Yeah. So, hey. They need that. I can't, I can't argue with what Google say. Hell, yeah. <laughs> the Google need to, some of the other companies need to uh, follow their model. Right Heck, now. yeah, man. Are you sure yeah, about man. that? Because Google is. getting sued right now by the government. So uh, It ain't for, it ain't it for napping, though. <laughs> 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 right, right. Right. They, they like, probably they getting sued because they ain't got down that. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. Oh, they got away from it. Yeah, the government just mad because they can't take naps. Yeah. Right. Still doing shit wrong. Like, God damn. <laughs> right. I don't want to talk too much stuff about Google because, you know, they always listen. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out to Google, man. Right. Right. Hey, yo, Google, I fuck with you. Fuck with y'all, Google. Right. Yeah, this right. episode, well, I ain't even going to say that. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. But let's get into this. your location. Right. Right. <laughs> Speaking of, I know I know it's not a black owned business, but it's one to help the environment. There's this also there's also a um, search engine called Ecosia. Yeah. And their search engine helps you plant mm-hmm. trees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it takes like forty five searches to like get a tree plant or mm-hmm. something like that. Is the number that's like roughly, but it's shouting called, out Ecosia. It's like E C O S I A. Shout out this. Yeah, Ecosia, 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 something Ecosia. like that. Yeah, yeah, they got a podcast. You said it's black too. owned? No, it's not black That's owned. Not black but, owned. like, it's just good for the environment. But, I mean, like, okay. At the same time, it's not black owned, but it's world owned, Jerm. So, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. If, if you plant trees, you know what I'm saying? That's that's trees that my son be able to breathe air from later. That's so, right. Hey, look, my son is a black man. You that's know right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. right in, bro. That's right. Exactly. Shout out to my trees and my plants and my flowers out there, guys. And the grass and the air. And the right. oxygen, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Except yeah. for during policies, like fuck plants during policies. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> oh no, bro. But like around policies and also around like sundress season, I'm a big fan. Oh, uh, well, that is <laughs> very true. Fan, especially being here in Atlanta. That is I love very, it. That's that old man so, shit I'm that's, talking that's, about, bro. That's, 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 you a dirty must, old man. I was gonna say I must be a dirty old man. Oh no, listen, bro. I went to the AUC, man. There's a lot of educated, beautiful women there. But I mean, my goodness, listen. We was in there. <laughs> on the, it's mind you, it is in the middle of Atlanta, so like it's the hood. 
You also got presidents coming uh-huh. in there. You also got these super educated black queens. Oh my gosh, listen. Yeah. When all that come together oh, and it get magic. hot outside. That's magic. Like it's real. I love what I learned. Like, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Nah, that's history. It's a lot, <laughs> man, for real. <laughs> and I think to myself. <laughs> what a wonderful world. <laughs> that's real, man. So let's get into it, man. Y'all ready to get into the talk, man? Oh yeah, man. So yeah. uh I don't know if y'all been following, man, but uh T.I., we finna talk about the verses. Mm-hmm. So, T.I. had hit up 50 Cent a while back, man, and uh, said he want, he reached out to 50 Cent, 50 Cent because he wanted somebody to match his energy, like his aggression. Like, yeah. you know, he know 50 gonna come back with the yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, 50 declined, you know what I'm saying? So, Buster reached out to him. Mm-hmm. And 50, I mean, T.I. basically like, I respect you, you're an OG, but you're a little dated, you know. He threw a little shade at him, but he did it. In a, you know how Tilt do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did it in his own little T.I. way. And just last night, I found out that um, Jesus said, well, you know, you you going across the world looking for people that's, to pull up to. She had pull up one. on me. Mm. So T.I. accepted. So here Jesus we are, man. T.I. and Jesus coming up, man. That going to be a classic, bro. It is, but let, is. Me, let, me, let me throw back right quick to the whole Buster Ride thing. But first thing I want to say, are we going to officially just go ahead and label Fat Joe as being an instigating ass motherfucker? Because I saw that in the whole, when you see the interview, Fat Joe kind of like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't, they always mm. fucking with New York, yeah. Oh, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet you won't hit that nigga, bro. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. But here, here's the thing, bro. I agreed, and, and when you posted about it, bro, I really feel that T.I. Pound for Pound is one of the best rappers that is out there, not just today, probably within the last 10 to 15 years. That's and I'll right. go back 20 to 20, hell, 20 to 25 years. That being said, bar for bar, it's a different battle than a versus battle. Versus battles, they go by how many hits you had. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, basically, oh, this hit was on Billboard, this hit with us. Half the stuff that T.I., the stuff that we feel is the realest shit T.I. ever spoke about is shit that wasn't even on Facts. Billboard. I was listening That's to true. Paper Trail recently. Yeah, right? PSC, on PSC, no, though. Like he, yeah, hell yeah. He got some good songs yeah, on yeah. there. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, so, I mean, while we embrace, especially in the South, mm-hmm. while we embrace that, pop, which is literally encompassing the whole nation, they probably know more of Busta Rhymes. And because Busta Rhymes stuff is more out, and, and T.I., I think he used the wrong vernacular when he said outdated. Because a lot of stuff that Busta Rhymes did is classic shit, of course he gonna get the, 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 the crowd behind him because this is, oh, I grew up to this. You know what I'm saying? Or all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. T.I. stuff is, 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 is more like, Present, like omnipresent, like this is stuff that's going on here and now. Mm-hmm. So I really feel like Buster would get him in a versus. But if you went bar to bar, T.I., I mean, who gonna fuck with T.I.? T.I. Yeah. going in both. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh wait. So oh, he, he jumping out the window. So, so he went in both. Thing, I think, no, no, but you got a valid thought yeah. saying that. Yeah. Because if you look at them hit for hit, T.I. could drop Rihanna. He mm-hmm. could drop, you know what I'm saying? Yes. All mm-hmm. kind of shit that he done jumped T.I. Rich. T.I. Rich. And then, and then, then after he's bodied you, crush. after he's bodied you on just like his songs, he's going to be like, yeah. okay, bet. You got the second win. You don't, it don't matter. Let's hop on the features. Let's, Let's see do, who got that. that right. Yeah. And T.I. going to run you with the features too. T.I. going to kill you on features. You know what I'm saying? I mean, And that's extra credit for him. That's extra credit. Justin Timberlake. Swagger like this. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean. He got shit touched down with Eminem. Yeah, Listen. hell yeah. So you you see that? Like I say, the only up, leg up that Buster got on him really is that his shit older. Yeah. It's like if I want to put the goddamn uh, Isley Brothers against Jagged Edge, <laughs> motherfuckers go gravitate to the Isley Brothers because that's some shit they grew up on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think uh, Wuha came out when I was in fucking high school. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I and not to date myself. But that was a long fucking time ago. So, I mean, that being said, that, that was that was twenty some years ago. Yeah, yeah. They got a lot of motherfuckers like Erica, for example. That's why I think she felt so strongly about it. Oh yeah, yeah he he would body Ti. Ti wouldn't even be but, no. But I think no. it go back to demographic. You know, what it I'm really saying? does. The South is mm-hmm. almost like an election. Mm-hmm. The South is carried by Ti. 
Mm-hmm. However, the Northwest demographic will Jay-Z. actually go for Buster Rhymes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Buster Rhymes. You know yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I mean that's 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 true. You know, it really is demographic. That's why I think the Jeezy thing in Ti yeah. is it makes more sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I almost feel like it's exclusionary because I feel like. The South gonna be the ones that's tuning in for that one. I don't think everybody gonna be jumping on it like they need to be. Yeah. But that's actually a really solid ass battle. That's no, a real I, solid battle. So like my man said too, Shay, who you got? That's, that's a tough one. That's tough, right? Yeah, it's, it's tough, tough bro. I, it is tough. I'm, I'm undecided on that one because like I'm a huge Jeezy fan. Jeezy, right, right. I'm a huge Jeezy fan. Right, right. I'm a huge Jeezy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I think Ti gonna take it over Jeezy. The only people in Atlanta that could really give him a run would be either Usher or Outkast. Those are the only two people that I see in Atlanta being yeah, able to touch him. No, I'm saying no. I mean, like, I mean, I think he can beat Jeezy. It'll be a good one. But I'm saying like, where Ti, I might say I don't know if he's gonna win it. I don't really know if he's gonna win that one. If he's going up against like Outkast or like. Um, Usher, you know, things like yeah, that. Go call it out, okay. Not yeah. saying that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, that's, that's, how I'm, that's how I'm coming at it. Like. Not even, no, like, really, I won't say Goody Mob couldn't even really match up with Outkast as no. far as, like, a battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's they all. They would just like. be doing that for fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he's featured on a lot of the same songs. Yeah. 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 Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's do it. Right. But, yeah. I'm going to throw a curveball for y'all, though, man. I, like, I love this battle right here. But you know what I wish I really could have had? What's better than T.I. and Jeezy? What's better? Y'all know. Come on. What would have been... T.I. and Jeezy, hard. What Gucci would've... versus Jeezy? That one, I... Ooh, that's Gucci gonna, that's versus Jeezy, bro. That's going to be hard. Ooh, that would have been... That's going to be hard. Man, bro. Yeah. Now, if that was a battle, bro, that would have been more like... Because now you're talking to straight trout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's just celebration saying. of music at that point. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. That's what I would have said. Yeah. That's the best way to say it, too. It's straight celebration of music. Yeah. Yeah, Celebration of trap music right. and somebody, music, right? I and hip hop. Somebody hit me up the other day. Uh, I'll Kelly Brown, break the floor, ain't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had somebody, bro. This this is kind of out left field, but it makes sense in this context. So I had somebody hit me up the other day, bro. Kelly Brown. She was like talking about Diddy, saying that he's good with anybody. Like he challenges anybody. He got an open challenge. Mm-hmm. And they was like, okay, who would be great for him? Maybe Kanye. Maybe, duh, duh, but I don't know if Kanye would better. I was like, you might well just go ahead and just put Diddy versus Dre. Mm. Diddy, that's, that'd be interesting. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it'd be a very that's a good battle. one. That's a good because, one. Because, I mean, I was like, ain't nobody got more plaques on their wall, you know, outside of Diddy except for Dre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that now that would be a that's celebration good. right good there. Uh, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? That'd be like that. Early 2000s, like, really, man, that would go hard. Yeah, that simpler. would be interesting. Right, right. <laughs> times the times simple right simpler. Right when racists hid their... <laughs> yeah. It was no key racist. Right. So no I'm going to put y'all, racist. y'all on the spot, though. I'm going to put y'all on the spot, man. Like, and I ain't going to start with me first because I'm still thinking about it. So, oh, shit. What's good? Jeezy and Gucci. Jeezy. Ooh. Dang. I'm her. Maybe Jeezy. Ah, that's going in the overtime. Yeah, that is overtime. The, the, yeah. I'm going to say Gucci because he put people on too. Not that Jeezy didn't, but like Gucci. Mm-hmm. Not, but I'm talking about in a, like before that, yeah, I put yeah. Gucci. Mm-hmm. But, but I'm talking about in verses. the forward, like but a versus battle. They can, battle. Mm, See, they can that's, use that though. That's they can tough. use the stuff that like the people he put on, they'll use that in versus battles though. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like um, if Dre and Diddy were doing it, that's what they'd be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you tough. say I guess you guys get Gucci I, the edge I, I, I based get a Gucci on that. I get Gucci the edge off of that if it go okay. there, which is gonna go there because yeah, that's, that's a good that's one. Tough, though. What you say, my boy? Shit, if I had to go like with strictly just like artist to artist, bar for bar, shit, Jeezy hard. I'm gonna go with Jeezy, bro. <laughs> I'm, I gotta, I gotta fuck with my boy Jeezy because that that man has put out some OG hits. Not that Gucci hasn't, but mm-hmm. like. I'm biased towards Jeezy, ain't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> and nah, that's real. That's real. That ain't, you can't and, go wrong either it's way. Not, it's not like I'm not an East Atlanta Santa. Shout out to Yeah, yeah. But, you know, shit, I'll blast some motherfucking, some motherfucking uh, Jeezy before I blast some Gucci, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Okay. Like, if it's like new age trap, I'm a fuck with Gucci. But if it's yeah. like old school, like we about to go fuck the club up, big yeah. white tees, Air yeah. Force Ones, and Jeezy, Jeezy, yeah. Jeezy, my boy. Jeezy, Jeezy fuck the game up with that one. Hell yeah. yeah. Nah, that's real. That's real. And Gator, what you had said again? 
Bro, I gotta go Jeezy. Jeezy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the Reese. And, 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 you know what's crazy though? Is, and I think I, like like you say, I think it'll go into overtime. I think the thing that would put Jeezy over the edge is that he actually did have for about a good two, three year period, he was on some hot features. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and now. you put him on them, yeah, I think that put him over the edge mm. on that one, bro. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna go with now, I would rather listen to Gucci. But we talking about, you know what I'm saying? Battles. Right, right, right. I'm not having a bill with these motherfuckers. I'm talking about who would be. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with, uh, I'm with my boy, though. I'm going to go with Gucci, man. You're going to go with Gucci? Yeah, I'm going to go uh, with Gucci, bro, because, like, I don't know, bro. It's just, I got a soft spot for, like, you know, like, yeah, the whole yeah. putting people on type shit. Yeah, yeah. And, like he said, not only he got the catalog, but, like, he down there. You know, the Young Thugs, the guy doing... Uh, Anybody with Lil in front of their name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. he done birthed a lot. You know, he done birthed a lot of <laughs> really? people, man. You know, Dolph. I ain't saying he birthed them, but, like, he was up early, early, early on a lot of people, man. Mm-hmm. But, like, strictly music, though, uh, on the commercial level, I'm probably going to say Jeezy. Because mm-hmm. Jeezy got a lot of trap commercial hits in. Right. Yeah. But on the mixtape level, I'm going to have to go with Gucci. Oh, yeah, I'm right. going to go with Gucci on the mixtape yeah. level. Because Gucci see, got listen, them. But see, that's why it. I have to kind of disassociate myself from that level of it. Because I, I see Versus now for what it is. Right. And it really is a, a more of a corporate type of shit. Like, they was when they did the Monica versus uh, Brandy battle, they was like, okay, who won this based on Billboard hits? Right. And I'm like, oh. Well, be honest, everybody that I do was standing on the side of Monica. It was just like, okay, Brandy, you do your thing. Right. You know what I'm Yeah. Saying? But I, I, if that's how they're judging it, then I got to go with who has the most billboard hits and who's going to, you know what I'm saying? Personal right. opinion, mm-hmm. I would rather rock with Gucci. Right. You know what I'm saying? But just looking at it, you know, introspectively, uh, they, they probably give it to, they probably give it to Jesus. So y'all look. And plus, Jesus married the uh, little chick, or you know, about to marry the little chick from. Uh, oh yeah, that that lady on the, that show. Uh, the that, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You know, so <laughs> look, the final decision before we get up ahead. The final decision is Gucci, y'all. Gucci, <laughs> Gucci, it is. I'm going to stand proud with Jeezy. I got to go down too. Because we still on it. Shout out to Jeezy. Nah, shout out to Jeezy. Shout out to Gucci. Shout out to both of them, bro. Both of them, like, very monumental in the South, man. So I salute both of them, bro. I'm and still waiting on the UGK versus 8-Ball. Ooh, day. boy, don't start that. Don't start that. Because, uh-huh, see, you're going to go over my... Nope. <laughs> hell no, nah, because that's a whole other conversation. Hey, but that's a good one. Hey, hey, you know, I mean, hey, look. I would love to see that. I would love you know to see that, too. And if Pimp C ain't even here, it's all right. That's yeah, cool. Right. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Right. They can still play his music or whatever. Bud B can sit there and do his thing, man. Bud B super OG. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Eight that would have been hard. super OG. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, that would have had a whole South tune in for that. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been hard. That would have been hard. I mean, for real, for real. But look, man, before we get up out of here, y'all, man, I want y'all to leave y'all social media handles and everything, how people can reach y'all, man. Like I said, it was part two. Or the two part series of the Pod Squad All Stars. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, let's start with my boy Quay, man. Tell you for how they can reach you, man. Hey, it's Quaylen. You can find me on Instagram at Quaylen underscore I S Q B Q U A L O N underscore I S Q B. Um, you can find me on YouTube. I throw some of my spoken word pieces on there from time to time. Oh, yeah. Quaylen Bobbit. Um, check out my safe word. That's something me and Ken Shay got doing. Um, nonprofit help increase sex health awareness, decrease sexual assault. Um, Follow that also at Ooh, Safe like Word it. Ten. Yeah, man, we got a bunch of things in motion. Oh yeah, man. Um, really shoot, I'm gonna shout out my little bro too. Uh, at Counter Royalty, C A N N A underscore Royalty. He got CBD bath bombs that's gonna drop. Look out for it. Um, yeah, bro. Hey. Um, I'm gonna stop right there because I know it's other people, but I could. Oh no, yeah. man. What's up, bro? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, bro, I'll be ducked off in the shadows. You might <laughs> catch me on the story, maybe not, but you can follow me on Instagram at Delicious Views. Or like he said, you can follow me on YouTube. We share the YouTube. My safe word. That's it. <laughs> hey, man, look, so, so many different places that you can find us, okay? So, first of all, and I started going through my phone just now to be like, dang, we got some new Instagrams. We got some new websites. We got yeah. some. You can actually look us up at down5podcast.com. Okay. As of literally 30 minutes ago, we have hey, actually hey. got came up and running. On What's that up, side. bro? You Congratulations. Boy. Yes, sir. Yeah, we appreciate that, man. Yeah. We definitely appreciate it. Catch uh, me, of course, Gator, Vita, Baby, Alligator Adam, which is Vita, and <laughs> Ralston <laughs> McGee. You know, we are the most misogynistic podcast this side of North Kakalaki. What's cracking? 
Um, <laughs> you know, you can catch us on Saturdays, and of course, we you know upload the loot to, uh, to YouTube. Sorry, um, Gator Live underscore Down Five is my Instagram, and then we also have the Down Five Podcast Instagram. So that is uh, just Down Five underscore Podcast. Um, also, dope discussions with Erica. Beautiful co-host Erica Warren doing her thing. She is an accomplished author and just overall just great person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so a we come out every Sunday, 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central Time. Um, you can catch Dope Discussion with Erica. Just put it on your Facebook. Just look up on Facebook. You'll find us there. And also Instagram, Dope Discussions Pod. So Dope Discussions Pod. If you see any other Dope Discussions and you don't see these lips, that's on there, then that is not the real dope discussions. <laughs> they fake and their opinions don't mean shit. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> God, damn. And, and make sure that Savage you get that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Get that right there, you know. I'm going to tequila. But yeah, definitely get that, you know. For um, sure. Down 5 has merch coming. Of course, Dope Discussions has our merch. Just go to their website. Uh, go, go to our Dope Discussions pod page, and you can get merchandise from there. We got sure. masks and all kinds of stuff there. So, For sure. you know, get at us. Get at us. Get at them, man. And Gator got some stuff that's cooking right now, too. Ooh, he got some stuff listen, simmering, y'all. Listen, that boy Gator. Listen, listen, listen to that. Gator got some stuff simmering, y'all. Some simmering, <laughs> some simmering and some cooking. Oh, yes, bubble, sir. Bubble, bubble, toiling, trouble, my so boy. So look, man, y'all heard it here first, man. Um, On that note, we finna get up out of here, y'all. Can You Blame Me podcast. It's not just a podcast. We a brand, man. We gone, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yes, All right. I'm gonna fuck with you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah we gonna fuck with you. <laughs> we gonna fuck with you. <laughs> I appreciate that one hard. Y'all like that, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all make sure y'all go to the YouTube channel. Can You Blame Me Podcast. Y'all subscribe to the YouTube. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm already on Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Can You Blame Me Podcast on YouTube because that way you'll get notified right, when that shit come up, bro. Right? Tell then me, I, like, yep. share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Right. Hit the bell, yeah. I need to go right. ahead and just record that today. Hey. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure that you hey, tune in time. to the Can You Blame Me Podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. I need that. I need that. Look, I do that. So what? just, just yeah. holler at me. I got you. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Some voiceover stuff? Just give me some. Oh, he good for that shit. Right, give me I some read. I'll knock that out. Knock that out. Yeah, yeah man. So we, we done with my boy. Can you blame me? Can you blame me? Can you blame me? This shit from the heart. Like, how could you blame me for changing life? Yeah. Um, can you blame me? Going through the hard time, this shit done changed me Don't get it twisty, young nigga, I'm still the same me